Rivanna Futures is the name for the county's acquisition of 462 acres of property surrounding Rivanna Station, which is a 75 acre military campus located off Route 29 North. It's a sub installation of a much larger military uh, installation in Northern Virginia called Fort Belvoir. And the specific mission of Rivanna Station focuses on military intelligence. And there are three different federal agencies that are located there. The National Ground Intelligence Center is probably one that you've heard of. There's also the Defense Intelligence Agency and the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. The county's acquisition of this acreage will allow us to control the development that's adjacent to Rivanna Station. And that's important because these three missions taken together represent a significant base of employment and economic impact for the county. Overall, the defense sector has the second largest annual economic impact for our region at about $1.2 billion per year. And Rivanna Station represents about half of that. So about $650 million of economic impact each year comes from Rivanna Station. It employs about 3,000 people. And so that's why it's critical for us to be proactive in ensuring that not only those missions stay here, but that they're able to grow and thrive here as well. The HEARTS program, which is Human Services Alternative Response Team, is a joint program of County Fire Rescue, Police Department, and the Office of Human Services. Uh, and our express purpose is to respond to and follow up on emergency calls that are mental health and or substance use related. And we specifically respond on scene to de-escalate um, residents um, who are in crisis and want to do so by keeping them in place without recourse to um, force or in law enforcement. Uh, we also are there to connect folks to community supports um, and mainstream resources through advocacy and referral. And we're hoping to just improve the overall education of, the Al of Albemarle County related to um, supporting folks who are in crisis. Um, and, and I can say that folks are incredibly grateful. They are incredibly grateful to have someone respond and take time with them to follow up after a family member um, overdoses, um, or if there's been a mental health crisis and there's um, they're discharged from a treatment facility. I think the, the HEARTS program is important to Albemarle County because it makes um, Albemarle a safer, more connected community for everyone. The Courts Complex project is the renovation of the historic courthouse and construction of a new general district court. Um, it'll be completed in two phases. Phase one will partner with the city to create a new co-located general district court and renovate an existing Levy Opera House to accommodate the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. And phase two will renovate historic court square to house the Albemarle County Circuit Court. Some of the major milestones that occurred in 2023 is we completed construction drawings for the General District Court and Levy Opera House renovation. Um, we contracted with a contractor to execute the construction and we housed a groundbreaking ceremony for the courts project. The project's important to Albemarle County is because it expands our capacity and modernizes our courts facility to support the projected space needs for the next 50 years. The milestone I'm most proud of in 2023 is the demolition of the Levy Annex building, the excavation of the new basement, and we're actually starting to pour concrete now. So it's actually taking shape and starting to look like a new building. So the county is committed to uh, being uh, good stewards of our taxpayer dollars. We 
uh, closely monitor our budgets. We work closely with uh, the board in doing long range planning and developing uh, uh, balanced budgets. And then we also engage in the, with the board regularly with staff on, on monitoring of those budgets, whether that's the, the revenue side and, and how the local economy is, uh, is working and is producing and how that translates into tax revenues for the, for the county. We also closely monitor our expenditures, which are our personnel costs, our operations costs, our capital and our debt costs. We make sure that those costs are reasonable and within the, the budgets that, that the board approves and sets at the beginning of each fiscal year. The, the benefit to having the triple AAA rating is the ability for the county to access the lowest interest rates in the market, particularly when we're going to borrow funds for our capital improvement projects. The, the lower the interest rate, the lower the interest cost. And the lower the cost, the, the, the more efficient we can be with our, our taxpayer revenues and our funds and allows us to do other things with those dollars, that, whether it's uh, operational costs, personnel costs, allows us to be more efficient uh, with our taxpayer dollars. The quarterly supervisor training program launched in August of 2023, and it is the intent behind it is to develop the skill sets of all of our 175 or thereabouts supervisors. So what we're doing is a we meet the whole group or a subset of the group meets every quarter and we give them training on specific topics that we have determined are needed to ensure consistency across the organization for all of our supervisory staff. We also have built into these conferences time for people to meet and mingle because Coming out of the COVID years, there are a lot of people who've only ever met on the screen, and we thought it's important to build those connections for people. So if I'm a supervisor in a department and I have a question, then I have suddenly a whole new cohort of people that I can reach out to and get advice on how to handle that issue. The supervisor training program is really important to Albemarle County because it's a key component to Strategic Plan Goal 6.2, which is all about stabilizing our workforce. Uh, national studies have shown that employees tend to leave not because of pay, but because they're unhappy with their supervisor. And so part of the goal here is to develop the skills of our supervisors so that they know how to be a better supervisor and work with their employees um, in a more productive way and also to make sure that we have consistency across the whole organization in our supervisory skill set so that all the supervisors can speak a common language about psychological safety and conflict management and how to complete necessary HR processes. And we feel like in the long run, developing the skill sets of our supervisors benefits all of our employees across the entirety of local government. The ACIT Project Tracker is a new application uh, launched to the organization this past October, specifically designed to provide a consistent framework for major enterprise level projects and as well as minor technology project requests by departments within the county. Um, the application includes a comprehensive questionnaire for which all project requests are subject. Um, the application provides a standardized and efficient approach to the scoping and planning component of technology requests. It also creates a better connection between the business owner within the departments and the ACIT technical owners, allowing them to better address functional needs as well as less duplication of uh, systems and software with sim similar functionality throughout the organization. The tracker's value to Albemarle County is that it allows ACIT to consistently think about the significant needs of each request as it relates to security, 
um, infrastructure needs uh, and consolidation of systems. It allows us to consider and prioritize all county departments technology needs from an enterprise perspective um, and to remain intentionally uh, intentional and fiscally responsible with every departmental as well as organizational initiative. We had the uh, big skate night at Yancey. Um, Ed Brooks is doing, is doing an amazing job down there. A big event, we had like 75 uh, skaters. We also had our big fishing day at Mint Springs Valley Park. That was our 29th year of doing this. Uh, we did that on April 29th. Over 100 and some kids come and fish for free. Um, cross country meet, uh, we get two of those and our Walton track meet. So we have our five middle schools, um, Burley, Henley, Journey, Lakeside and Walton. And we have, you know, 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, 800 meter, the mile, long jump, uh, the shot put, um, softball throw. And then we had our cross country meet at Monticello where we run a 5K. Our county is, is, is so big. That's why we try to offer different programs down to Yancey in the southern part. We have programs out of Greenwood and then, you know, the northern part, we, you know, reserve gym space and, and run different programs out there. So I think it's so, so important to really offer it all, all around the county. We are updating the comprehensive plan through the AC44 or Albemarle County 2044 process. The Comprehensive Plan or Comp Plan is a guiding document for growth, development, investment, and community well-being in the county. During phase two, we've held a variety of community engagement opportunities, including pop-ups, online questionnaires, open houses, community chat kits, which are meetings hosted by community members using the guidance and tools in the kits, and the Think Like a Planner Field Notes activity, where community members went out into the community and shared their observations on what makes places great and how they could be improved. We've also held work sessions to hear feedback and direction from the Board of Supervisors and Planning Commission. As we draft plan recommendations, we are using plan chapters to guide content, and those chapters include community facilities, economic development, housing, rural area land use and transportation, development areas, land use and transportation, environmental stewardship, historic, scenic and cultural resources, and parks and recreation. We look forward to continuing to collaborate with the community, staff, partner agencies, the planning commission, and the board as we build the updated plan. So our project was geared towards town halls where the discussion focus was traffic safety. We're doing this because, one, we want our roadways to be safer. We want our residents that are uh, or community members to be able to drive through our communities in a, in, a, in a safe environment. But starting with the town halls gave us an opportunity to reach the residents, to come sit in the room with us, listen to what we had to say, and then ask questions on, on how they could do their part or uh, what we do to make things better. It was a, an opportunity for everyone to engage in the conversation from the enforcement aspect all the way up to the uh, infrastructure problems that we face. VDOT was uh, present with us along with community development and uh, even board members. We want people to know when you're driving your vehicle, you should be given 100% of your attention at all times to the operation of that vehicle. And if everybody were to do that, then our roadways would uh, would become much more safer. So the county office building uh, at Fifth Street is one of our opportunities to meet the need for our community holistically uh, to work around career support, career pathways and education opportunities. Uh, one of the things that we hold near and dear is that we're community oriented. So the opportunity to come in, sit down and speak with our career center coordinator, Mr. Juan Diego Wade, and have a transparent conversation about where you wanna go, uh, what paths you've crossed, uh, what opportunities you're looking forward to in the community, and in the future, will kind of aid in your ability to be successful. And I think just being transparent and upfront and honest will allow for that. Uh, the programs that we offer 
not only just exists with resume writing or mock interviews, but also connections to employers that are currently here. Oftentimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. So making those connections with networking is really important to our community and for our clients that we serve. It's important because we like to model it around that central hub. We are connected with our community partners in the area that often give opportunity for advancement and growth that you don't necessarily see. So we like to say that the Career Center and our Virginia Career Works opportunity mobilizes our services. So people have the opportunity to come to our locality to speak to TJ Ace, the WIOA program, which is the Workforce Investment Opportunities Act that gives folks that have been dislocated from work or having hard times finding work, the opportunity to get some education and training. We've also connected with our Veterans Affairs through VEC. They're now entering into our workplace. So just having that connection to be able to build beyond the basic need of a job search and correcting to career pathways is important for us. And we find that very important to our goal setting. In September, ACFR found out that we received a $7.1 million FEMA SAFER grant. That grant will allow us to hire, train, and deploy 30 full-time firefighters. It'll cover their base salary and benefits for three years. 14 of those positions will provide service in the southern portion of Albemarle County. And then 16 of those positions will be used to staff a ladder truck in Monticello Fire Rescue Station. And those 16 positions will be specially trained to provide technical rescue for more complex incidents that we see in Albemarle County. So things like water rescue um, and technical rescue like vehicle extrication. We're seeing an increasing number of calls. Our call volume has gone up 20% since 2020. Uh, we are a large county at 726 square miles, so having dedicated staff in the southern portion of Albemarle County uh, is important for response times, uh, and we need to grow our force to accomplish that. And then having um, specialty response in a centrally located part of the county so that they can respond to anywhere that they're needed is, is a strategic investment into our community and responding to the calls that we're seeing.